LSU here in Missouri State Championship Football Weekend up at the TWA Dome in St. Louis. The area had one representative today, another one tomorrow in Webb City. But today it was the Salem Tigers playing for the Class 3A State Championship. Joe Hickman was on hand and he files this report. Well, we just want to show our support for the Salem Tigers. A shirtless Salem Fire Department was among the many Tiger fans in the TWA Dome showing their spirit today. But that silliness would turn to disappointment once the game started as Salem's first foray into the state championship started going wrong in the final two minutes of the first quarter when this blocked punt was recovered for a Platte County touchdown. The Tigers then proceeded to fumble the ball away on three of their next four possessions. In fact, their five fumbles on the day tied a 3A state record, and Platte County took advantage to roll up an 18-0 lead. Salem finally did manage an 11-play, 68-yard drive that ended 41 seconds before intermission when Jimmy Decker went in from six yards out. But after letting Salem get within 18-7, Platte County retook control on its first possession of the third quarter as this 55-yard bomb from Brandon Gutschel to Todd Jarris set up a seven-yard touchdown pass to make it 25-7, less than two minutes into the third quarter. For Salem, the second place trophy marks their best finish and 11 playoff appearances. But afterwards, Coach Bill Shukart seemed to be leaving his future in Salem up in the air with this statement. We'll meet Monday and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about where they're at and what their future is and what's going to go on. There's a, there's a lot of things going on right now and uh, I'm just not sure about a lot of things right now. It took over 40 years for Salem to finally make it to its first state championship game. Platte County had to make it to the finals twice in order to win. They lost last year in the championship to Aurora. So maybe it will be Salem's turn next year. From St. Louis, Joe Hickman, KY3 News.